So, nice little island. So I'll tell you what, just so you get an idea as to how this place is, right out in the middle of nowhere. Whose dog is this? It is nine o'clock in the morning and I figured, let's go for a paddle today. So I've come down to the Pandora Inn and we're gonna come off here and sort of head down the Bisso way. And from what I've been told, apparently this is the best place to go paddle boarding in this area. So let's check it out. This is the beginning of the journey, of the voyage. Do you guys want to come as well? Walk with me. There's something else we need to find. Say you'll go. Don't make me wait. There's no need. I think earlier I said Bisso, but what I actually meant to say was Deveron, because Bisso is not even near this, this bit. So that right over there is where Deveron is. Now these waters get quite, um, there's a lot of sort of boat traffic and things around here, so I'm going to sort of stay fairly close to the shoreline, uh, just so I don't get in anyone's way. little houseboat there and that would make a great houseboat if it's not a houseboat already this thing needs some work that's quite quite kelpy here different kind of kelp from what we're sort of used to seeing in the water by the looks of it maybe it's just because it's a bit more oil saturated because of where we are but yeah lovely oh what is this bit of bamboo must be like a a border to say don't go any further because this is private. It is so peaceful out here today. For a bank holiday it's very quiet but I don't think that's gonna last long. Like I said it is still about 9.30 in the morning. I just can't believe I've never been this way. I've paddleboard, I've paddleboarded to the Pandora before, but I've never actually started there and made my way this way. Problem is, the sun's behind me, and I'm going that way, so I'm probably silhouetted at the moment. So I need to sort of turn around. I see a little silhouette of a man. So, if you are new here, I'm Sean, I live in Cornwall. I pretty much make videos just about my life in Cornwall and some of the adventures I go on. I make a lot of snorkeling videos, I go out on the paddleboard sometimes. But yeah, if you're enjoying this, consider subscribing, follow, I upload every week, and come along for the ride. And for everyone who watches all of my videos, hello again. Nice to see you. Even though I can't see you, you can you can see me, but I can't I can't see you. And I tell you what, speaking of which, I actually bumped into one of my subscribers the other week. And you know who you are, by the way, my subscriber that bumped into me. But it's it's a really weird feeling because you know you guys obviously would recognise me if you saw me, but 
until you tell me who, your, what your name is, I d normally don't know who you are, which is makes it quite difficult. It's kind of like people knowing what I look like, but I only know my subscribers who comment on every video by by their name normally. So, oh, and I did actually bump into Vicky Chalmers as well in Truro the other day, who's the uh, another YouTuber who I watch. And she's just as lovely in person. I mean, look, I know I'm not in a canoe, but paddle boarding along here kind of feels a little bit like deliverance. I see a little little lad with a playing a banjo. I know what you're thinking, Sean, you're not standing up though, so you can't call it stand up paddle boarding. And I probably could stand up. I don't really want to fall in, to be honest, because I've got my drone in that bag. And even though it's a waterproof bag, I don't really want to be getting it unnecessarily wet. So I'm just here just to enjoy. I just want to be here just to enjoy the peace and quiet and the tranquility. Just imagine living in this house, out here, no neighbours, nice and quiet. You've got a boat moored up there, little tender to, to come out to your boat. Completely isolated, but, but with enough mobility, because you can probably drive from there. But you can also just head out in your boat, you can head over to a pub. I think I'm getting to that stage of my life now where I kind of want a house in the middle of nowhere. I'm getting to that grumpy old man stage. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's the dream. To have a nice little rib with a little outboard motor on it and just potter around. I'm either in a current now or it was from the wake from that rib that went past because I'm moving that way and I'm not even paddling. This could be my famous last words. <laughs> So here's a bit of information about safety when I'm paddling out here on my own. I've got a dry lock bag there, I've got water. In my bag I've got my mobile phone, so if I do get stranded I can call my partner or somebody to come get me. Um, I've got my drone with me, but that's for obviously for, for this video. But one of the things that, I've got a towel as well this time, I normally always forget a towel. But I think the thing that people tend to always sort of forget is water. It always seems to be something that I always forget, especially when you're on a paddle board and you've got space and, and straps and things where you can actually put these things and, and bring these things with you. It's, it's something that normally gets overlooked, so water's always, always a good thing. So, I found this, I'm not actually sure what it is. Do you know what this is? There's a sign on the back of here. Ah, cool, thanks. <laughs> Carnan Mine, property of Fiat Parish Council. I'm not going to read it out to you, but you can screenshot it. There's always nice. Whoa, that was well slippery, I nearly went. There's always nice little places that you can get to just off the beaten track. And this is absolutely stunning and so relaxed as well.
This sludgy clay type stuff is really not easy to walk on. I'm considering doing um, a questions and answers video. So that's where you guys, my subscribers who watch all these videos can ask me absolutely anything you want and I will answer them and give you a shout out in the next video. So in the comments today, just ask me anything, anything you want and I will answer it as honestly as legally possible. All right, well, I think, uh, I think we've, we've, we've been here long enough. So now we're gonna head up this side of the river on the way back to the Pandora. Oh God, look at this. Oh, I'm gonna go over in a minute, I can tell. Oh God, that's horrible. Probably stepping on crabs and all sorts. Right, won't be the first time, won't be the last. So the guys I was talking to then, he's just asked me to come and save his wife and daughter who are beached. And I think I just beached, hang on. Damsel's in distress. So, whoa, it's slippery here. You okay? Sorry. I was just saying to your dad, I think. Uh, I've got a YouTube channel, so you'll probably be on it now. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, rescue missions now as well. Apparently, you better subscribe after that. <laughs> but also, if that was you, say hello in the comments. So I had to unbeach that guy in that kayak. This is what I was talking about, about that clay. It's really oily. Just past this, this lady in a boat. And to be honest, if you're gonna say hello to a loco, you would say, all right, my love. But as we're in the sort of Fioc area, it's probably like, how do you do? You kind of gotta, you know, be a bit more polite. Look at this place. Maybe one day, maybe when I've got like a million subscribers on this channel, and I might be able to afford to buy a place like that. And then you guys can all come and stay. <laughs> How about that? Pandora's over there, there's some people swimming here. I think it might be time to start heading across back over to the other side. So we're about halfway now. Seems to be a little, little island out here. Which is probably going to be muddy and sludgy like the other one. Lovely! I mean look at this place. Why would someone arrange rocks like that there? Maybe it's just so that when the tide comes up, you can still see it. Be rude not to, I guess. Look at the state of that. I told you it was oily down there on that sludge. Disgusting. So, nice little island. So I'll tell you what, just so you get an idea as to how this place is, right out, in the middle of nowhere. And these are those rocks that have been put there for us all to see. I suppose when it is high tide, this will alert any boats going by that it's shallow here. I've got an idea.
battery's about to run out on the GoPro, so I'll see you back at the Pandora. Bye, bye little island. See you probably never again. So yeah, that was my uh, little paddle up uh, up the river there. Now, even though I'd left from the Pandora, I never, it's, it's a very small car park there, so I never park in the Pandora car park. I always park up in the, up in the trees here. Um, it's just out of respect for them, really, you know. Unless you're a patron, I mean, I was planning on going for a drink afterwards, but I'm probably just gonna head home. So you just have to literally just park just a little bit up the hill. It's a bit of a mission, but worth it. But yeah, hopefully you like this video today. If you're new here, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I make lots of Cornwall related videos. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. dog is this? Okay, his lipstick's out as well, lovely.